We got this 46th century seam made here. And uh, as you can guess, it's, it's going to be up for sale. Uh, like the last few videos we've done, we've put a lot of effort into. Uh, we got a break in the rain here. Uh, I think we've got everything ready to go. Uh, let's see, we've got the hose hooked up. Oh. You should just film and let me do it. Oh, okay. I mean, make sure fuel's on. We got the fuel shut off label, right? Who's doing this? You. you. There. Are you? There you go. You want to take the camera? Fuel shut off? Yeah. So the owner of this boat built in uh, these modular floors that are real handy. We got the fuel shut off valve here. It's in the on position, so we're good there. Um, here we have, oh, we have what's called a seacock. So yeah, so it's basically a ball valve and this is the inlet from the hose and you're basically shutting off the intake that the boat would normally use when it's on the water. So let me put that in the closed position. You can see here in this little side panel, sorry, this side panel, uh, where he's hooked it up to uh, a hose bib attachment. This obviously was not standard equipment in 1946 when this, when this boat was made. Uh, it is handy though. Yeah, super handy. Especially if you're old and have trouble getting in, hooking yeah. it up. So the owner of this yeah. boat was nice enough to uh, print out some engine start procedures. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. Step one, open engine compartment, uh, check. <laughs> Step two, uh, engine blower switch to on position. And we've got a blower switch down here. I'm not 100% sure that a blower is necessary on this boat, but hey. whatever, it can't hurt, Safety right? first. Safety first. Safety first. Um, open fuel valve under the footrest, port side rear cockpit. We've already checked and made sure that was open. Uh, prime fuel pump, port side engine. So basically we're just gonna run the, hit the starter button uh, a couple times with the ignition and the offs. That runs the mechanical fuel pump and uh, sucks any gas into the carburetor and kind of gets the plugs wet. Do we need to do take two now that uh, now that we've made a room for my wife to get into her driveway and uh, let me check and the, park? Let me check the Doppler. There we go. Mm. Is this stuff gonna mess me up? Why? How, I mean, I thought this. How much is 200 milligrams of caffeine? Is that a lot? Probably a bit. You feeling tingly yet? Is that what it does? Yeah, it's pre-workout. Pre. -workout. pre -wor I thought this was just an energy. No, it's pre-workout. Gives you extra charge. Oh. oh shit! Are we ready for round two yet? I guess so. Now that we're all hopped now, up. Now on, we're all hopped up hopped and up on pre-workout. Get your butt up in that boat and go through the startup procedure again. <laughs> I'm glad we got this boat out just in time for it to rain. Yeah. Oh. Don't scratch that wood. So hose will have off. I'm yeah. Probably turn it on. But I usually just like get the pump wet yeah. and then turn it on full when we're running. Yeah. Brock's Brock's not a not a selfish lover. Uh, step one, open engine compartment, check. Engine blower switch on, Whew. we've already done that. Uh, open fuel valve under the footrest, we've already done that. I want to see more enthusiasm with this. I'm We're over. excited. We're excited with this. Over. We just detail this thing and we get it out just there. in time for the rain to come down. Yep. Prime fuel pump. All Primed. Right. Pump yep. throttle lever. Twice. Full choke. Ignition on. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Choke Push off. that choke off. Water on full. Water on full. There we go. I mean, for a 70 year old motor, man, this thing's dialed in pretty well. Sounds good. It sounds amazing. She sounds great. Runs and sounds give me fantastic. A, give, me a, uh, give me a pump her up a little bit. Give me a pump her up. Give yeah, her a little bit of C4. It. Yeah, give her some C4, just a little bit. Hold it there a minute. You can give her a little gas. There you go. That's a good spot. Yeah, that's about 2,000 RPMs. Yeah. 2,100. We'll obviously 
obviously get her out on the water and uh, do some full throttle. Here, hold the camera up there. Show the RPM. Yeah. Show it tacked up. There you go. Oil pressure. Oil pressure. Oh, good. yeah. Temperature staying cool. RPMs. Yeah. Staying right where it's supposed to. Uh, so yeah. I'll get this back by the exhaust there. Yeah. What, what else do you want to show? Should I climb out? Am I good? Do whatever you want, buddy. I think that's kind of it, right? Yeah, we'll obviously show her uh, under power when we get out in the water if we can get any good weather here yeah, anytime get, soon. Get Solid some, rain get some, forecast. Get some WOT action. Oh, I guess we could have shut that blower off a while ago. Yeah, you just kind of don't notice the thing's running anymore. How many times have you left that? You just hear this awesome engine over top of it. But you can see we've got water pumping through. There you go. Give it a little bit of gas. There you go. Yeah, that sounds good. Hold it up a little bit. Don't rev it, just hold it open a bit. There you go. Gradual. Yeah. There you go. Alright, let her idle. This thing idles like a champ. Why don't you shift it in a forward and reverse? What's that, Ford? Yeah, that's forward. Right. Neutral, reverse. Neutral and reverse. There you go. Nice. Move the steering wheel a bit. Show that rudder moving back and forth. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's going to have to work to go on the water, I suppose, right? Yep. But, uh, yeah, if it doesn't, you'll know it. Yeah. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, we'll know real fast. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you want to shut off? We can get we can, we can shut it off and give her a restart, right? So show yeah. her a good old hot start. What do you think? Yeah. Feel the water still on. Yeah. Idle down. There you go. Ignition. Hit it. Just bump it and she goes. Look at that. Yeah, man. She starts right up. I've had this out on the water a bunch, and I've just never had an issue with it restarting. You know? I mean, you're yeah. coming towards the dock and. The you know the fixed prop with the rudder yeah. uh, is a bit tougher to steer and dock than you know yeah. most of these boats with an outdrive. So you really want this thing to start up yeah. and run good when you're coming in. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. And honestly, <laughs> I mean, you know, cold start it's it's pretty good. I mean, honestly, I think cold starts just enough. Sputters just enough to let you know it's a carbureted engine. It yeah. should be authentic, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to sound good, but I usually, let you know it's carbureted motor. You know, I get it down uh, in the water and keep it on the trailer and, and start it up while it's sitting uh, on the trailer at the ramp still and let it warm up for a minute or two. Uh, but it doesn't yeah. take a lot. It's not cold yeah. blooded. Uh, you know, a little choke to get it started yeah. and then she fires up and goes. Yeah. So, I mean, I. I love getting this boat out in the water, man. She's, I'm going to miss the sound just, of this thing. She's gorgeous. She's a head draw, Yeah, she, she draws attention everywhere you go, you know, uh, just a ton of yeah. fun. Uh, and I don't know, just just usable, man. I mean, it's not it's not perfect, so you're not afraid to take it out and actually well, use it. And I think, I think the, I think the one useful part of it is that a 15, it's a 15 or 15 and a half foot length, right? So you can actually tow this thing behind, you know, the FJ Cruiser. Uh, you know, V8 wouldn't have a problem, but you can tow it behind the uh, Tacoma. You've towed it behind your little four-cylinder Tacoma I, just fine. I, I tied it around, uh, towed it around with my know. first gen Tacoma with a four-cylinder engine, yeah. and it's fine. It pulls. All right, well, I guess we're, uh, it's probably enough runtime. What do you think? I want to hear it just a little more. You want to hear it just a little more? All right. 